Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in at 101.2 kilos, and he'll have a reach of 193 centimeters. And facing him, Riddick Bo, six foot five, 240 pounds, with a reach of 81 inches. An amazing reach advantage that fighters do not expect to see in this kind of fighter. The jab is unassumingly long and sharp and fast, and that will really put you off your stride. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Kansas City, Missouri, here is the hard-hitting WBO heavyweight champion of the world, Tommy the Duke Morrison. Fighting out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing Big Daddy Riddick Bo. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. All right. So all the talking's done, all, all the all the hullabaloo, all the press cuttings, all the he said, she said. Now let's get down to action. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Beautiful counter shot. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Trying to answer that. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the thousands of people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. counter lands. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Lands with the right counter. And there's the bell to start round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone, he knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. And Bo is dazed. I don't believe what we're seeing here. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. But sluggers, you cannot let them get into your rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. Good left counter that lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. 
And he just missed with that left jab. Left counter scores. Quick punch scores. They both want the knockout. Nice counter. They better start respecting each other's punching power. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Left counter was perfectly timed. Catch and shoot. With the bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Beautiful counter punch. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. And when it's not just a win for some fighters, they need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. He carries away the left uppercut. There's a counter shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that length. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. That's a scoring left hand. Big counter right hand again. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.